Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about UTMA and UGMA accounts. And so if you're not familiar with UTMA and UGMA accounts, this is the perfect video for you to listen to right now. And so I'll first start off talking about UGMA accounts. Now UGMA, it stands for Uniform Gift to Minors Act. This was an act that was started back in 1956, and then it was updated again in 1966. And essentially what this account allows you to do is to create an account for a minor in your life, whether it's your child, child, uh, someone else's child, your grandchild, a niece or a nephew, no matter who it is, as long as they're a minor under the age of 18 or 21, you can create an account for them and you can start investing for them before they actually become an adult. And so this type of account allows you to gift assets to a minor without having to deal with an attorney or creating a trust account for that child. So as the adult creator of the account, while that child is still the minor, you are the owner of the account and you are the manager of the account. So you would be the one to put any of any money into the account, do the transfers, make any investment selections. You would be in control of making all of those decisions up to the point they reach the their adult age. And since you are the owner of the account, then taxes would be based on yours. It wouldn't be on the child. And so the child who it will eventually be transferred to, they won't have to worry about filing taxes. And so next is the UTMA account. UTMA stands for Uniform Transfer to Minors Act. And this act was created in 1986 as an update to the UGMA accounts. And so the main differences between the UGMA and the UTMA account is that a UGMA account can hold cash, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and investments like that. But with the UTMA account, it was updated so that you can invest in real estate, patents, royalties, or other assets like art, and not just stocks and bonds and mutual funds. And so U2MA is actually an update of the UGMA account. And with many of the investment or brokerage accounts, they may show both on the actual account setup, or they may just show the UTMA since it is the most recent update of this app. And each state may have different rules on the UTMA and UGMA accounts, especially as it pertains to the age of adulthood. And so many states, most of them are either 18 or 21, but there are also some states that they may extend the age to 25. So for instance, with the state of Florida, if you create a UTMA account for a child, you can actually extend the age to which you will be required to transfer the funds to the minor up to the age of 25. But also in the state of Florida, that child can actually decide at the age of 21 that they don't want to wait to the age of 25. So make sure you check based on your state what the rules are. And of course, you'll have to follow the rules of your state. So why would someone want to open a UTMA or a UGMA account when they could just open a regular brokerage account or maybe even a 529 plan? So UTMA and UGMA accounts, for the most part, many people open it in order to start saving for college because you know college is a very big expense that many of our children may choose to or choose not to go to but at the age of 18 most people are going to be headed off to college or they're going to be headed to learn a trade but some may even want to go into business and start their own business so one way that you can increase the amount of money that could be saved and be ready for that child to use once they do turn 18 or 21 is to invest in stocks or invest in bonds or invest in other assets that can grow over time and if you're truly investing for that child, then creating a UTMA or UGMA account allows you to transfer the money or the assets over to that child once they actually become adult. And then it's their account after that. You have no links to it. You have no control or ownership over the account once they become an adult. And so of course, as a child, they may not know as much about investing or buying real estate or other assets, other investments. And so you do wanna have control of that account prior to them becoming adults and hopefully by the time they actually do become adults, whether it's 18, 21, or you extend it to the age of 25 in certain states, then they'll be able to have that knowledge that they need to know in order to properly handle that account. And hopefully they won't spend it on bubble gum or, you know, something stupid. And hopefully they'll be able to use that money wisely. 
And so if you're saving money for education, many people will say, well, why don't you just use a 529 plan? Because a 529 plan is specifically made for educational purposes. But the reason you may wanna choose a UTMA or UGMA account is because if the child does decide that they don't wanna to go to college and you know maybe they wanna start their own business or they already have a great job that is paying them enough money to where they're, they're happy with where they're at, or they have some great plan where they're actually gonna create an app or invent something, then you know going to college may not be the thing for every person. And so they can use that money and they're not penalized if they were to use it for something other than education. Now, if you had a 529 plan, any money that's in that account, if you don't use it for educational purposes, then there would be a penalty if you were to withdraw the money for other reasons. And so this is a great reason to use a UTMA account versus a 529, even if you do plan on using the money for education. And so one of the questions that usually comes up about UTMA and UGMA accounts is, who can I actually create this account for? Does the account have to be for my own child? Can I create it for a friend? Can I create it for a niece or a nephew or a grandson or granddaughter? And the answer is yes. You can actually use a UTMA for any minor. It doesn't have to be your direct family. It can actually just be a friend. The only information you need is to have that minor's legal name, their date of birth, and of course their social security number. And then that way, you can link them to the account and then once they actually reach the age of adulthood that account will be automatically transferred to them and so of course if you're creating this account for a child in your life you actually want to create it for someone that you think you can trust especially if you're going to be putting a lot of money into the account or let's say if they are actually working as a high school student or they have you know a side business even as a kid you know they're selling lemonade on your street or at a park they can actually use this money that they've created on their own and then they can put that money into the investment account now you will be in charge of it up until the point that they actually read adult, reach adulthood. And so you can make the changes or the investments that you choose that you want to make. Or if you're teaching them how to invest, you can help them with understanding how to invest and then allow them to choose as well. But you'll still be responsible for all of the transactions up until the point they actually take ownership of the account. And so overall, a UTMA and a UGMA account is a great way to get started with investing for a child in your life, whether you're actually teaching them how to invest or you're just investing that way. Once they do become an adult, they'll have money set aside to either pay for college or start a business, even make a down payment for a home, whatever they choose to do. Hopefully they'll make a great decision on how they're actually gonna use the money. But I'm sure most kids who will actually be adults at that point would love to start their life off with an extra 10 or 20 or maybe even $100,000 or more if the money put in there is put in consistently and it's invested in the stock market or some other asset like real estate, which is gonna gain money over the long run. And although they may not appreciate it today, if you were to use this money as instead of giving gifts of toys and games, you could give them a birthday gift or gifts during the holidays of actually putting money in their UTMA account and investing in stocks. And although they may not understand it, you know, of course, when they're first born or at the age of two, five, 10, or maybe even 15, in the future, they will definitely appreciate it having that money sitting and ready for them once they become adult. And hopefully they will pass that along to their own children or maybe another child in their life who would appreciate it once they're an adult. All right, so that was my overview of UTMA and UGMA accounts. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching, have a great day.